Well, you know what that means. Downtown Houston crews are getting ready for the much anticipated Rodeo Houston Parade. And we didn't have it last year. It seems like forever we haven't had a lot of people are looking forward to this celebration since it was canceled last year. But there are a few things that you should know before you head out to watch it all. And KPRC 2's Rilwan Belogan is live in downtown Houston with that advice. Good morning, Rilwan. Hey, good morning, Kim Burrell and Sophia. I want to tell you, I'm one of those people excited for the Downtown Rodeo Parade because it is my first. We're standing in front of the director's floats here, significant, significant, or excuse me, showing 90 years of the rodeo here. It will be a lot of fun. Now, before the parade get kicks off at 10 o'clock, there are a few races for the rodeo run. Starting at 10, 9.10, the 10K wheelchair begins. 10 minutes later at 9.20, 5 and 10K elites followed by the timed 5K leading up to the Downtown Rodeo Parade at 10 o'clock. Now, the return of the Downtown Parade with co country star and Texan Cody Johnson as Grand Marshal for the unofficial kickoff to the rodeo season as Downtown Houston transforms to celebrate Western heritage. Now, the parade starts at Walker and Bagby near City Hall in Herman Park. Now, you'll want to make sure to keep an eye out for the KPRC to Chuck Wagon. You'll see Owen Com Flinty, Anthony Giannis, Amy Davis, and Kathy Hernandez. They, along with other uh, floats, marching bands, and more, will head up Walker to Travis, Bell, and Louisiana, ending at Lamar and McKinney at the Texaco Heritage Plaza. Now, all again, the parade kicks off at 10 o'clock. will be a lot of fun. We have some more floats. We may show you a few of the floats out here that crews are making those last-minute fi finishing touches before that 10 o'clock starts. Live downtown, Roman Belogan, KPRC. See, two news. Finally, it is back. All right, real one. Thank you.